The ballista was an ancient siege weapon, first invented by the Greeks and later improved by the Romans. For the past several weeks, I have been building a desktop, one-tenth scale size model as part of a research project for a novel. We'll start with a quick test firing. Uh, so what you do is you loosen the pawl on the ratchet, slide the slide forward, re-engage the pawl, and then start uh, cranking. Uh, I've removed one of the cranks. You can see it laying down there so that you can see the pawl on the ratchet uh, working better. And then when you have it cranked all the way back, uh, then we load a toothpick and press the trigger to fire. For practice, I made myself a little target out of some foam insulation. For longer range shots, this is a 6 feet, equivalent 60 feet. The toothpicks still had plenty of power, but they would fly off, of course. So I added a real simple fletching, just using some cellophane tape, taped onto the toothpick, and had pretty good results. On the left is version 5, the first operational model, and then on the right is version 6. On version 6, I added the side-to-side uh, -side feet. Before, it was just a front-to-back brace. The side makes it much more stable. The pawl engaging the ratchet on version 5 didn't work very well, and it broke. Uh, so on 6, I made the material thicker, and I extended it backward and down, so the weight of that pawl would, call, would uh, engage with the ratchet much better. Version 5 used a rather primitive triggering mechanism, to say the least. So on version 6, I improved that by using this spring-loaded model. It's much easier to use uh, and kind of a bit more uh, fun and quick while doing my testing. It's not historically accurate, but this is a desktop model. This photo of version 5 shows uh, washers at the top of the frame. You see the one on the right has broken and has just fallen away. On version 6, I made those washers uh, thicker so that they're uh, more durable and will hold it to more strain. 